Hi guys, welcome back to Read Out Loud this week with Miss Wynn. Um, if you had a chance to uh, watch something exciting that happened this weekend on Saturday, I bet you you're going to be very interested to listen to the, the book that we're going to be reading today. Miss Wynn's going to read it to you and I'm going to show you a couple more features with uh, Read Aloud. Now, on Saturday at 3 p.m. or 3.22 to be exact, there was a space rocket that was launched in Florida. Uh, this has been a very exciting event for a lot of people around the world as we, they watch this U.S. space shuttle launch. It's almost about 10 years now since the last rocket was launched into the space. So for all of you, uh, those who are really interested in, to, in science and space, this was uh, definitely a great chance to catch that, uh, that moment of excitement to see how the rockets was launched. Um, but also for those who would like to check out more materials with reading, this week we're gonna read about um, the sun and to see how did we collect all the information about the sun without being actually that close to it. Um, and you're gonna see how the space uh, rocket or the space shuttle comes in handy in the work of the scientists uh, at NASA has made this possible so that we can learn more about the space. So I am actually this week gonna direct you back to Unite for Literacy. And one of the reasons I'm doing this uh, again is because there are a lot of more um, other languages that you can also listen to these books. And I want to give you a chance to also uh, explore it and play around with it as you read these books with your families, with uh, friends uh, in, your, in your family. Um, and then you can also see as you learn more about the sun, the space, and some other topics of your interest. So I'm gonna share this screen with you. Let me see if I can make this screen bigger so you get to see more of what I'm showing you. So this week, yes, we are going to go to www.uniteforliteracy.com. And the book that we're going to be checking out is called Soho Explores the Sun. Soho is the name of a space shuttle that was uh, sent uh, a while back into the space so that it can collect a lot of information for us so that we can learn more about the sun. Now think about it that um, this looks like more real. So therefore it is non-fiction text that we are looking at this week. So if you would go to, I'm gonna go back from the beginning. Once you get to www.uniteforliteracy.com, you will see all these books being listed right here. Okay, by topic, new and favorite, animals, animals and people, community, create and play, earth and sky. So this is where we're gonna look at. And if right here, if you go back up here for narration, you see right now, all these books are listed in English. But let's say if you want to explore a book in your language, say for me, I'm not, I speak Vietnamese to my nieces and nephew. So let's see, I want to read this book with them in Vietnamese. I'm gonna click on it. Now it shows me all the books similar to the one in English. Many of them are also translated in Vietnamese. Okay, all I do is just click on it and then it'll play for me. Let's say if I want to try it in Spanish. So you can see these books are also translated in Spanish. The words will be, still be in English, but once you click the narration, the voice, it will read it out in Spanish for you. Isn't that cool? Now, not all the books are translated. So some of them will have translated uh, the blue tab on the bottom that shows you that's in Spanish translation for narration. 
But then if you go to some of them, like this one, I really wanted to get a chance to read with you guys. The Eagle that flew to the moon. It was not a, about another space shuttle uh, that landed in the moon in 1969. And the first man ever walked on the moon. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the Spanish. So I'm going to try to go back to the sun, Soho, explore the sun. Okay. And then we're going to read that one and we're going to see it, how it's read in Spanish. Okay. So here's the book. It's called Soho Explores the Sun. Before we read the book, I want to point you to the questions that I have here for you. So as you read with me, think about what are two cool facts you learned about the sun? Then after that, you can share with a family member, your mom, your dad, your older brother or sister, or you can even teach your younger brother or sister the two new facts that you just learned, okay? Now we are going to start with reading the book. Do you see English here and Spanish here? Okay, it's Espanol. So I'm gonna start with the book, Soho Explores the Sun. Soho Explores the Sun by Holly Hartman. Our sun is a bright star made of boiling gases. We use telescopes and spacecraft to study it. We can't look at the sun directly because that would badly hurt our eyes. Now, let's say, hmm, I may be able to read a lot of English words here, but then I also want to learn it in my first language. So I'm gonna click on a El sol es una estrella brillante compuesta de gases en ebullición. Usamos telescopios y naves espaciales para estudiarlo. No lo podemos mirar directamente porque les hace daños a los ojos. Okay. Now, you learn it in two languages, English and Spanish. So that helps us a lot to understand sometime in our first language, right? So when we finish, I'm going to go to the next page. So just for demonstration purposes, I will only do the first page. The rest of the pages of the book I'm going to read it in English for you, okay? And sometimes if you're at home and you cannot read so many big words here, you can play English and they will read out the words to you. A spacecraft called Soho has been taking pictures of the sun for many years. Now we know much more about our closest star. So think about another word for the sun. Is also start with the letter S. We know the sun has big, dark spots. These sunspots are cooler and more magnetic than the places around them. Sometimes these spots move around and change size. One sunspot can be bigger than Earth. Imagine that. We know the sun has flares. Solar flares, flares are sudden flashes of brightness near a sunspot. This one right here. Okay. Solar flares send out tons of radiation that reach Earth's atmosphere in about two days. We know the sun has wind. Super hot solar winds blow at almost a million miles an hour. Solar winds swirl through the solar system, blowing the tails away from comets. This is the comet, and this is the tails. Okay. Soho sends picture and other information to computers on Earth. We learn more and more about our sun without ever hurting our eyes. So we remember that, don't ever look at the sun directly without a telescope or without some other 
devices, sunglasses, special sunglasses to help you, okay? It will damage your eyes. So we can, thanks to Soho, we get pictures of the sun so we don't have to look directly at it. Now, here's a question, another question if you want to play with this after you answer the one that I have on the page for you. Um, if you're ever interested in looking at the night sky, you can always look at it from the balcony, from the window, and just look at the stars. And sometimes if you're lucky, you might be able to spot one or two planets. So this is the end of the book that I just read to you, okay? So back to the title is Soho Explores the Sun. And the questions that Ms. Nguyen have here for, has here for you is, what are two cool facts you learned about the sun? For example, what is another name for the sun? Share with a family member, the mom, dad, cousin, uncle, um, or your little brother or sister. It's okay, you can share and teach them something too. And I also have it translated for you, the question in Spanish. So if your mom and dad can help you or your older brother and sister can also help you with this question. ¿Cuáles son dos datos interesantes que aprendiste sobre el sol? Okay, all right. So guys, guess what? We are done for this session of Read Aloud. I hope you enjoyed the book that I picked out this week. Uh, I was excited just like you, uh, watching the shuttle as it launched from uh, the Cape in Florida. So, but if you want to explore and learn more about space shuttle or space in general, there's one more page actually uh, at the end I forgot to share with you guys. So let me go back to that page. If you want more information on space, you can also check out at www.nasa.gov. Here's a page where you can find a lot of great information about the space and um, you know how the astronauts, how the trainings that they have to go through and how to become an astronaut and so much more information than I can provide you here. So I hope you enjoy it this week and remember, Next week will be our last week of school. So until then, stay safe and eat healthy and help your mom and your dad at home uh, and be a good brother or sister, okay? All right, take good care, guys, and enjoy um, the rest of the week. Goodbye now.